everyone welcome back to another video tutorial today we are going to learn how to make this beautiful checkered um bra cup as well as the bikini top so um most of the people that i have seen make two layers of each color which makes the boxes a little bit thicker as you can see here so for me i decided to go another approach just one layer of each color starting from um, the second row because um, this is just a mirror of what's happening on the other side so it created that big bunch but uh, today I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful bra cup and we can turn it into a top so as you can see the bra cup is accommodating you don't even need bra cups in here like the paddings because it's already in that shape as you can see here so i'll be demonstrating for a size small which is my size but i'll be explaining uh, what to do for all the other sizes so let's begin for this project i am using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook this is a little bit on the bigger side compared to what i usually use for the bra cups so um 3.75 i usually use a 2.75 but uh i just decided to go for a 3.75 to have a little bit of stretch as well as loose stitching so you also need two balls of yarn for the yarn and you'll need two colors of your choice two contrasting colors or whatever color that you want to mix so i'll be using baby pink as well as maroon so um you also need a pair of scissors to cut off the loose ends so let's begin i'm going to start off with the dark color which is the maroon and you're going to start with a slip knot you're going to make your slip knot and you're going to make a chain that runs from the center of your bust down to the base of your bust so center of your bust down to the base of your breast so i did a total of 16 chains So I have my 16 chains here, sorry for the dark color, but I'm going to try my best to explain as much as I can for you to understand what I'm doing. So I have my 16 chains and you're going to go into the third chain from the hook. So this doesn't count as a stitch. So you're going to count one, two, and into the third, you're going to place a double crochet. This tutorial is explained in US terms. So this is a double crochet and the chain two counts as one of our stitches. So, so far we have a total of two stitches, double crochet into the next chain. So that's the third stitch and then double crochet into the next stitch, which is supposed to be the fourth stitch. So we are not going to finish it. We are going to introduce our second color. So before you yarn over to complete your fourth stitch, you introduce your second color and you're going to yarn over and pull through all and that introduces color B. So for the next stitch, we are going to work with pink <coughs> and you're going to make a double crochet in the next stitch double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch so so far we have a total of three pink double crochets and for that fourth one you're going to yarn over insert your hook as you can see as i'm working i'm weaving in the tails at the back so pull through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two and before you finish, we are going to switch to our color A and finish our double crochet with color A, which is maroon. So 
in the next stitch we place our double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet into the next stitch and so far we have three stitches and into the fourth you're going to double crochet using the maroon yarn over pull through two and then switch back to the pink color and finish your fourth double crochet with a new color so the fourth double crochet which is the final double crochet of each color we finish it up with the new color so so far we have one two three four four stitches of pink four stitches of maroon and we are going to continue doing that until we get to the very last chain so you're going to double crochet double crochet and that will bring us to our very last chain as you can see here we have only one chain left which is this one and that chain should have a total of three double crochets so keep in mind that we are still going with the pattern here so far we have two stitches of pink and we need a total of four stitches of pink but then the last chain here needs a total of three stitches so we are going to go into it with one double crochet of pink so so far we have three double crochets of pink and then another double crochet so so far that chain has a total of two stitches and we need a total of four stitches that means before we finish this stitch we are going to introduce our maroon color sorry for the tails but I have to weave them in and then finish up the fourth stitch of pink with the maroon and then we have to place our third stitch I told you the last chain should have a total of three stitches so into that last stitch we are going to place our third stitch like that so we've accomplished our goal we have three stitches into the very last chain so after that you're going to chain two and this is where the um, pattern gets a little bit tricky because we have to mirror exactly what we have on this side onto this side so after your chain of two you're going to prepare for a double crochet and place one double crochet into the same exact chain and you can see on this side we have only one stitch here before we go to the pink that means before we finish the very first stitch you're going to switch to your pink yarn and then finish up that um, stitch with your pink yarn and then you're going to go into the same exact chain with a total of two more pink double crochets so that means um, the very last chain has received three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets on this side I hope I'm clear on that just uh, take your time to understand exactly what's supposed to happen on the opposite side and make sure you're always carrying along the second color so we have our um, two double crochets in pink and we are going on to the next chain we are now working at the base of the chain and we are placing one double crochet into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next stitch but don't finish it because it's the fourth and that means it calls for a switch of color so switch to your uh, maroon color or whatever color that you're using and then finish up your stitch with the maroon color so you can see what we are trying to mirror we are imitating what's on this side onto the other side so after that you're going to just continue to work four stitches of each color and then we switch to the next placing one double crochet 
into each and every chain. So this is the fourth. Switch to your pink color. If you have any tails, make sure you weave them in as you go. So we are done with this and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches using the pink yarn. Three and four. And you don't finish the fourth, switch to your maroon yarn, finish off, and then go into the next stitch with one double crochet. So you should be left with a total of four stitches left. Um, so I have a total of three and into the very last one I will double crochet into it using the maroon. So you can see we've balanced what's on this side onto the other side. But we finish up the last stitch with the pink yarn because we are going to start switching. Um, switching colors every row so you can see from this point onwards every row is switched from pink to maroon to pink to maroon pink maroon so that's what we are going to do right now we are going to start our row two and you should start it with a different color from uh, the last color of row one so you're going to chain three turn your work make sure you're carrying along your second color so what i do is just to push it upwards like that and when i'm making my double crochet into the next stitch i make sure my second color is at the back so the chain three counts as a stitch that means um so far we have one two and three and then this is the fourth and don't finish it at this point we can get rid of all these loose ends because we finished weaving it weaving them in just cut and get rid of them so we don't finish the fourth stitch we switch to our maroon color finish up the fourth like that and then you're going to go into the next stitch with the maroon and continue to double crochet into each and every stitch until you have a total of four stitches so this is the fourth we don't finish it with the maroon switch to pink yarn over pull through and then go into the next stitches with the pink until you have a total of four stitches switch to maroon and then go into the next so as you can see um, the color of the next stitch dictates what color to put on top of it so just make sure every pink gets a maroon and every maroon gets a pink so um, we are on our fourth here drop the maroon pick up the pink like that and now um, we are approaching the chain to space here so i need to explain exactly what's going to happen so into the very next stitch which, which is a maroon you will place a pink double crochet but from now on the chain to space will get two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so um, remember we have one stitch here and they're supposed to be four but due to the circumstances that we have here um, we are going to do two double crochets in pink like that and then you're going to chain two and we are just going to mirror what's happening on this side onto the other side. So two double crochets in pink. And then um, 
one double crochet into the maroon but don't finish it because uh, on this side we have only three stitches so that means on this side we should have a total of three stitches so don't finish it drop the pink and pick up the maroon and finish up that double crochet and then you're going to just continue to place one double crochet into each and every stitch alternating between the colors so this is the fourth that means we switch to pink and then double crochet pink onto each and every maroon then this is the fourth you switch to maroon and then double crochet maroon on each and every pink stitch this is the fourth drop the maroon pick up pink and finish that stitch and then double crochet pink on top of each and every maroon until the end of your row so make sure when you're finishing up this um the very last stitch you finish it with the contrasting color because each and every row is going to switch colors so that means um, if this is pink the next row will be maroon so chain three turn your work make sure you carry your contrasting yarn along and then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the last pink stitch with maroon and then switch to pink so it's supposed to be four four stitches but um the very <coughs> tricky part is when it comes to this part so i'm going to explain it again for you because every row will look different depending on what we have at the tip of the bra cup hold on So this is the usual when it comes to the fourth stitch switch colors and make sure you're always carrying along the second color one two three and four drop that pick up the new color and then one two three now we've reached the chain to space as you can see here but then we are on the third stitch and we know that we should have a total of four stitches so we're going to go into the chain to space remember the chain to space should get two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so we are on our third stitch that means we only have to have one stitch of maroon drop maroon pick up pink and finish that and then one more stitch because the chain two space should have two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so the next stitch should be pink so so far on this side we have two double crochets we have to chain two and two more double crochets on this side so you're going to place one double crochet of pink like we have here but don't finish it because the next stitch on this side is a maroon that means switch to maroon like that and then place your second double crochet on this side so we have finished with two double crochets chain to two double crochets and then we are going to just continue to alternate between um the pink color and the or the, the maroon color so in the last stitch which is this one place your double crochet switch 
to pink everything else falls in line after you figure out exactly what to do at this point so you have to take into consideration that this space should get two double crochets chained to two double crochets but then at the same time you have to consider how many stitches you have um, before you reach the chain to space so all those things all those factors determine how you're going to maneuver when it comes to the chain to space so let me just finish up this so I hope um, when it comes to the to this part by now you know exactly what to do if it's a pink stitch that means it gets a maroon color and if it's a maroon color if it's a maroon stitch it gets a pink uh, a pink color so when it comes to the flat part of the bra cup everything seems to be a little bit easier but when it comes to the tip there are so many factors to consider while working that part so as you can see I'm coming to the end of this row and I'm placing my very last stitch into the last stitch of pink and make sure you swap to the new color as you begin your new row so chain three turn your work push the second color behind make sure you carry it along so This is the fourth stitch, switch to maroon. This is the fourth stitch, switch to pink. One, two, three, and four. Switch to maroon and finish your fourth stitch. Okay. So we are almost coming to the chain two space again. So I'm going to show you one more time how to determine how to uh, work on this upper part. So the f there's a stitch here before the chain two space, which is a pink stitch. That means it will get a maroon stitch. And then in the chain two space, we should have a total of two double crochets, chain two and two more double crochets. But then we have only one stitch of maroon here. So this should be a walkover because we just place two more maroon st stitches into the chain two space. As you can see. And then you're going to chain two and then cross over to this side and place two maroon stitches because that's exactly what we have on this side. The moment you determine what's on this side you just mirror exactly what's on this side onto the, the opposite side so after that we have a pink stitch here that means it will get a maroon stitch drop maroon and then pick up the pink stitch the pink yarn sorry and then continue to just alternate between the two between the two colors okay this is the fourth stitch that means we switch colors so switching colors may be a little bit tricky um, because 
the yarn can get tangled so make sure you find a way to place one of the colors in front of you and one behind so you can see i'm pulling the maroon from behind and um my pink yarn is in front of me so that way i don't have twisted yarn at all while working my project okay so this is two three and the last one you place your double crochet don't finish it make sure you finish it up with a different color and then you're going to chain three turn your work so you can see how everything is taking shape at this point um, so everything is taking shape and from now onwards we are just going to repeat that Once you get the hang of the pattern, everything else becomes a little bit easier. Just putting in mind that you only do four stitches for each color before the switch. And when it comes to the top of the up, you put some brain to it. You put some thinking so that you don't mess up our project. Okay, switch. So we are almost coming to the chain to space again. I just want to explain something else. So we've reached the chain to space as you can see here. Now we have three stitches on this side, but the chain to space needs two stitches, chain two, two, two stitches. So we have three stitches of pink. That means one of the stitches is going to be pink like that don't finish it because we've reached the fourth stitch that means it's time for a switch and the next stitch is going to be maroon like that and then you're going to chain two um go into <clears throat> the same chain two space with a double crochet but don't finish it because we have only one maroon double crochet on this side. So don't finish it, switch to your pink color and finish that double crochet. And then, um, sorry, the second stitch should be pink in the chain to space. So the next thing to do is to just keep placing one pink stitch on top of every maroon stitch and one maroon stitch on every pink stitch like that switch Okay. So, um, in order to determine what to do for the next stitch, you can either be like, every pink stitch gets a maroon stitch, 
and you follow that or if you're into counting then you can always go ahead and count your stitches but I feel like the easiest way is to just know that at the end of every uh, every row I switch my color and then chain up three turn my work and every maroon stitch gets a pink stitch so go into the next stitch with one double crochet and then every pink stitch gets a maroon stitch so switch and then start placing a maroon stitch in every pink stitch so whatever color that you decide to use that's really up to you i won't dictate i'm just talking for myself because this is the easiest way i can remind myself not to blunder because this can be a little bit tricky if i start saying color a color b I may end up uh, mixing them up so just go with the flow and use whatever color suits you I would like to give this a try in green and white because I've seen so many people wear green and white checkered crochet um, pieces and they look really beautiful so I want to give it a try hopefully I'll be able to pull it off And then I'll post it on my social media. Okay. So switch. Now we are almost coming to the chain to space. And we have one maroon stitch. We should get a pink stitch. Now we are at the chain to space. That means this chain two is going to have two pink double crochets and then chain two and mirror exactly what's on this side that means two more pink double crochets and then um, double crochet in the maroon but switch to maroon like that and then Continue placing one maroon stitch in each pink color. And then switch to pink. And one pink stitch in each maroon stitch. So we're just going to continue doing that until we get enough coverage for our bra cup. Just a little tip that I have to give you is that the beginning chain should be a multiple of four so that you get um, these numbers not to confuse you or to follow along exactly the way I am doing mine. That way it will be very easy for you to follow along with me. But in case you use a, a different multiple or a different number of stitches, just uh, be keen and try to follow along with the pattern of four four stitches per per color. You'll get it right. So I just decided to record this whole tutorial so that. Um, I can help out someone who may get lost along the way so <clears throat> make sure you finish up your last double crochet with a different color then chain three turn your work so let me first reference to exactly what I have on this side look at how cute these are placed together these are so cute um, I have one two three four five six and seven rows for my size small and on this side I have one two three four five and six that means I have only one row left so let's work it together so that I don't leave you hanging for those people who are working small size we are going to work our very final row and we are placing one maroon stitch in every pink stitch and then switch 
to pink and place one pink stitch in every maroon stitch that's how easy everything is until we get to the top where you have to figure out what to do Okay. Drop. Okay, switch to maroon and now we are placing our maroon stitches into the last pink stitches before the chain to space and you can see we have a total of three stitches and we need a total of four so here we need a total of two stitches but we already have three stitches that means one of the stitches is going to be maroon don't finish it drop the maroon and pick up pink and then the second stitch is going to be pink and then you're going to chain two and then mirror exactly what's on this side so this is a pink that means we place a pink stitch in the chain two space don't finish it pick up the maroon finish your stitch and then the second stitch in the chain to space should be maroon just like on this side so place your double crochet there and then continue to place a maroon stitch in every pink stitch so that brings us to four stitches of maroon one two three four then one two three four exactly what we have on this side is what's going to be going on on this opposite side so just go all the way down alternating between the colors until you get to the end of your row So we're almost coming to the end of our row and we're placing our last double crochets into the pink stitches. So before you finish off your last stitch, this is just something to point out. If this is your very last row like me for a size small, you can see that. Um, I will just end my row with my double crochet with the same exact color and then I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn like that pull through and I'm going to just go ahead and cut my yarn on the pink side as well so this is what we have if you are still going on then you don't need to do this you're just going to continue with the same process until you get the coverage for the bra cup that you want for yourself so uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to weave in our ends 
look at how cute these are um i think i need to take a peek so the next thing we are going to do is to weave in our ends so you're going to get your darning needle and just weave in your tails want to get rid of these so that we have a clean finish I always prefer to weave in my ends on the wrong side of my work and for this part I think it's better to weave in pink on the pink part so that we don't uh, get a contrasting color on the opposite on on the opposite color so as you can see here so when it comes to the maroon uh, you weave it in on the maroon part as well we don't take it into the pink right so we have this very neat and do the same on the opposite side Alright, so we have this ready. Our backups are finished. And they should be almost identical because we've done the same exact thing on both the backups. So uh, you're going to decide um, what color you want for your straps. I'll go with uh, the maroon. I don't know what color you want for your straps. Maybe let me go with pink. So that the color can pop I've gone with the lighter color and I'm going to chain one you're going to attach your yarn onto the tip of the bra cup you're going to just make a very long chain just a simple chain we want to keep this uh, bra cup simple straight to the point just make a chain of uh, 100 So I have my 100 chains and I'm going to cut my yarn, pull through and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So after, after you make your straps, we are going to weave in this tail, the one that came from um, from us attaching our yarn to make the strap. Weave it in and make sure you're weaving it into the pink section. Do the same on the opposite side.
so after this you're going to cut off the loose ends at the end of your straps as well and now we're going to make a chain that runs at the base of our bra cup to make it functional just at the base so just get your crochet hook and make a very long chain of about 200 chains So when you're done with your 200 chains, we are now going to pass this uh, string through our bra cup. So you just go into the second row and then into the first row. And you can use your darning needle. I think that would be a very good option. You just go in and out of every row. So in, out, in out in into the pink out into the maroon and keep doing that across your bra cup like that until you make it all the way across and you're going to have something that looks like this so from there you're going to repeat the same process on this side in out in in and out of each and every row so just do that making sure you have only one stitch on this side and then you pull and that's basically it uh, from here you're going to get rid of these loose ends and your bikini top is ready to wear uh, let me know in, in the comment section if you liked this tutorial and don't forget to tag me in your finished project and i will see you in my next video these are the strings that are going to go at the back of your neck like that and then these ones just to the back of your body to tie and this is basically it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in my next video bye